Welcome to our dive into the gritty and enthralling world of Blood West, a stealth-based FPS game in the weird West genre that caught my eye. It's a game that attempts to merge the gritty atmosphere of the Wild West with the sinister elements of eldritch horror. In theory, this combination could offer an intriguing twist on the classic Western genres. Blood West combines challenging gameplay with an immersive storyline set in a Wild West overrun by supernatural forces. I found it has ruthlessly challenging gameplay, enjoyable exploration, and RPG elements that cater to individual playstyles. Overall, it's a refreshing take on the Stalker gameplay that happens to be set in the Wild West context. Players can expect over 20 hours of gameplay across three varied scenarios, each brimming with abominable monsters and unholy demons. The open-ended worlds of the canyons, the swamp, and the mountains offer freedom to explore at your own pace. But beware, the land is corrupted and the curse has summoned dark entities that are much a threat as any gunslinger's bullet. But it's not without its drawbacks. Some have noted that the character development and mechanics occasionally feel outdated, and while some aspects may sometimes feel underwhelming, the overall experience is a grueling yet satisfying journey through a nightmarish version of the Wild West. Resource management is a key component of Blood West, with limited HP, stamina, and ammo adding to the game's survival horror themes, demanding strategy and stealth over brute force. Stealth is often essential, and the game rewards careful exploration with hidden loot and alternate routes. The setting may be familiar, but Blood West makes excellent use of it, often rewarding players who take the time to explore every nook and cranny. In Blood West, the Death Spiral is a unique mechanic that adds a layer of strategy to the gameplay. When a player dies, they receive a debuff, which is a temporary negative effect that can hinder their progress. These debuffs are known as soul flaws and can stack up to three times, each death adding another layer to the spiral. If a player dies three times without addressing these debuffs, they transform into a full-blown curse, a more severe and impactful negative effect on the player character than any flaw. The death spiral concept in Blood West is a testament to the game's challenging nature and encourages players to approach encounters with caution and strategy. It's a mechanic that punishes recklessness, but I would like to see it reward clever planning and resource management a little bit more so. Despite some frustrations with difficulty levels and occasionally outdated mechanics, the game deserves to be lauded for its fun factor. This setting immerses player in a world that feels both bleak and atmospheric, a place where the Wild West is not just wild, but downright otherworldly. It's a special blend of stealth horror and the Wild West, which offers a unique and challenging experience. Blood West has carved out a niche for itself with its unique blend of genres, combining the ruthlessly challenging gameplay and thrilled exploration, even sprinkling in some RPG elements that could cater to individualistic playstyles. This is getting tiresome.